Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode on the 1995 Mini Mayfair. So, you just seen then, took the dash out, top dash rail out, um, and it's revealed some nasties. Um, I'm not gonna lie, um, we'll get stuck into it properly, but I didn't think it would be, I think it's repairable, but we'll see what James wants to do. Um, but as you all know, if you haven't already, please go check out the 99 Cooper Sports pack we did. The dash rail, your bulkhead, and your scuttle panel, the four three like a three layer like seam for the windscreen. Um, and there's rust in there. It's how far you go really. Um, obviously on that one we replaced quite a lot of bulkhead at the top. So before we get into that, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Have a look at around at all our playlists. We've got classic minis, the Amazon. As soon as we've got some racking built, we're gonna get cracking on with the Amazon. Um, we've got a lot of going on guys. Um, while I've got you as well, please go and check out our sponsors. We have Mini Mine for all your classic mini needs. Over on the shelf there is some flitch panels that we just picked up for this car, basically to kick us off. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a big build. And yeah, obviously Mini Mine, there's a link in the description below to their eBay shop and they have a discount code now running across the screen for 10% off your next purchase when you spend 15 pound or more. So please go ahead and use that. Um, Obviously, Mini Mine, a cracking company. They got one stop shop for everything you need. Um, yeah, go check out the eBay shop, see what you can get a hold of. Frost restoration for all your tooling needs. So, if you have a workshop like me, which still feels weird to say, you can get that out. Um, all your consumables, all your paint, all your bits and bobs like that, you can get it all, guys. You can get it all. So, please go and check out both the sponsors. There is a discount for Frost also in the description below. So, please go and check them out. Um, by using us as a discount, you massively help the channel, you help me be able to fund this, you help me with our projects, um, and I want to start work, working down my eBay watch list to bring you guys more cars. And please, so yeah, best way to support us is to check out everything in the description below. Let's get stuck into this car. So, yes, closer look at this. <laughs> I won't go on too much about it. It's rust, and we all know rust. I know a lot of rust, unfortunately. Um, so I've also removed this air vent out of here, got that out of the way, and yeah, this um, you can kind of see quite how bad it is. That's the line there for his the water washer bottle for a later minis in the boot. So obviously the water line has to run away from there. Um, yeah, it's it's not bad, bad, but it, it's also not great. Um, quite a lot of it is actually surface rust, if you can believe that or not. Um, be it like the Amazon, believe it not being white, it doesn't help. So what we're going to try and do is what I always try and do, but never had to of these, never been able to have my recent projects, is try and retain this factory line here. Um, so we're going to cut all the way up there and then come across and put the new air vent piece in. So follow, leave this uh, natural crease in the car and then come up and um, follow around the air vent. The, um, the panel will stop kind of about there which isn't helpful. So we are definitely gonna have to make a top end bulkhead repair. The panels just don't come up. They come up just above the, the uh, flitch panel. So let me just go and grab the panels. So another thing for the workshop is I'm kind of working out where I want to put things. Um, so this is kind of my panel shelf. So up here, we've got the 89's wheel arches, which needs to be fitted and mocked. The 89's seam strips. And here we have the flitch panels. So let's grab the correct side. So these are Magnum repairs. Um, I don't like them in this coating they've got, but it is, it is what it is. Um, this is hopefully one of the very few Magnum panels I get to use on this car, because I think James wants to do it properly. Um, that obviously fits up in there as a rough rough guide. Uh, will you stay there for filming? Yes, you will. Um, so you can see there that it doesn't go right to the top. Um, it'll be more apparent once I've cut the scuttle off out of the way. Uh, so. We're going to get rid obviously you can see a little bit easier now you've got that natural swage line we're going to come up on this new panel and come round um and try and keep the car's original swage line because that's where the strength of the panel is as well um so obviously that eliminates all this rot which is a big big hole here um gets rid of this rusty door post and yeah we can see how bad these hinges are so i'm going to start spraying these at wd-40 um but i think before I, before i do that obviously it's that flammable um We'll get the scuttle out of the way so i think that's that point of call for this episode uh, we get the scuttle out of the way get this cut out and then we can get the new panel in and uh yeah it'd be quite nice that's one bit of it done isn't it uh then we'll stay with with this and we'll work through 
sort out this crack and cut off that tab down there. And hopefully that's one in here we can save then. Um, but that looks pretty bad there. Get the cutter out, Mark. See what's left. Catch you in a bit, guys. Right guys, so first proper cut on some panels. Obviously I know I've got the front off, but this is where things start getting interesting. So under the scuttle is quite bad. Like I'm obviously it's completely eating the corner away where the, the uh, masking tape was or duct tape, color coded duct tape, I might add. Um, obviously that's gone. So what we've done is cut this out. That's already just come dislodged itself. Um, but looking all the way at the top of there, it don't look too pretty. Um, but I am very shocked to see this panel, um, which is zoom out a sec, so you can actually see me. So yeah, I'm actually quite shocked to see this panel still there. Um, I don't think I've cut one up yet that that's still being attached. That's well and truly still attached to the car. Um, and this corner doesn't actually look too bad at all. Obviously with the new scuttle will come up to here and get rid of that. The scuttle's completely fallen away, but the dash rail and bulkhead there is rock solid and really, really clean. Um, so, you know when I used the term, and I think James used it when he was up with me, the car's tipping, this is what I mean. So when this rust starts bobbling, if you can get to it, you know, you're gonna have to replace panels still, um, but if you can get to it, you might not have to replace as many panels and you won't have to go so structural. So the fact that this inner wing is still attached to the bulkhead, is quite a structural part of the car that's still there. Um, so that's a good, good sign. Uh, so we'll work with that. The back of it looks absolutely fine, but obviously we're gonna have to cut it here to put the new panel in. And if I've got kind of a gap, then I'll just make a piece. But I really wanna try and keep that in there if I can, because um, it's a really good datum point and it's quite nice to see that still there. Um, but looking this way, it don't look too great. Um, so we'll carry on obviously getting a scuttle off in another episode, but we wanna focus on getting something repaired here. Um, so next point of call, I'll mark off where the new panel's gonna go. I'm gonna have to just grind these off. The screws inside are absolutely knackered. That's not coming off anywhere. So I'll cut that out of there and um, and then we'll go from there. But it's all just completely flaking away. So we'll just have to see what we can do, see how much of the panel we can, you know, kind of use. Um, if we have to use all this bit, then we do. We've got it, obviously. So, right, more cutting. Right guys, that is the worst of the rust cut out. Um, and it's as much of the flitch or the inner wing that I want to cut out. Um, reason being is if you can get away with the magnum panels not using this section with the profile, I just don't think it fits very well and it, it ends up warping loads up there. It's, the panels just aren't the right shape. Um, and if you can save the panel, obviously what's left of the car, use as much of the original as you can. In this area anyway, just one tip I would give you from experience. Um, if you want to use whole panel, crack on. I did on the 89, use whole panels on both sides. Um, but it did take a lot of work. It took ages to weld, which you're constantly waiting. Um, but this one's a little bit more solid here. All of this is really good. Um, so we're not going to bother around here. Um, I'm just going to tidy everything back. So I'll bring you guys in because I found some surprising discoveries. Right, so um, like I say, all cut out, air vents cut out, um, and we've left all this bit. But look. That's all original primer, and I've cleaned back weld spot welds were there. This panel is out, this, the whole post is rock solid. Really good. There's a tiny little bit of rust coming through where the dash rail meets, so we'll, we'll grind that back with a finger, finger sander and tidy that back. But um, if you remember on the 89, we had to replace all of these on both sides. 
Um, so it's only gone quite corroded at the bottom, but this is the inner sill. So this runs and connects all the way along there on the inside of the car. So I'm not overly concerned by that. We just won't weld a new panel to that. We'll weld a new panel to this. And then when we put the inner seal in, we'll connect it up. So I've cut all the rotten floor out of the bottom, um, kind of gain access. But uh, yeah, pretty happy at that. So I'll just roughly grab the panel for you guys. Kind of wants to go in somewhere like uh, that's the holes roughly kind of lined up so we're obviously going to trim down where we don't need the panel um, and then obviously get it to fit so I'm not looking forward to welding these I don't like this new coating that they put on these it doesn't weld very nice uh, but at the end of the day it's less you put a hole in a wing on a car which unless you have the budget and I like saving things absolutely no point on this car to do that um, so I'm going to get the panel trimmed up um, and then we're going to finish this video. So the panel probably won't get welded in this video, um, just short for time. But we're going to take this shock tower off as I know a lot of you are interested to see what it looks like behind there. So I've been greasing this up um, with bus gas and stuff like that. Hopefully they're, they're going to move. Uh, so we'll get this panel trimmed up, get it sat in place, clamped in place, ready to rock and roll, some nuts and bolts on it. Um, then we'll finish with uh, hopefully not finding any rust. but. At least I know what's left of the inner, the inner wing then. So, right, climb that, guys. Right, so what I've done here is um, just used a couple of nuts and bolts. Uh, the line, all the holes line up absolutely lovely. And when I mean, you can see that this now matches the contour of here, we are gonna have to make a piece for the top. Like I said, this is in really good shape. I'll probably end up just cutting this out and putting a new piece in. There's a bit of surface rust on it. Um, but either way, obviously that will join to there and create that gap. Like I said, the panel only comes up to a certain point. But when I was mentioning about this, This is what I mean. These panels are just not, that doesn't sit flush at all. It's wrapped around the bottom of the floor, lovely. It's lovely up here. Um, along the inside, it meets the door posts and everything, absolutely lovely. It's just absolutely rubbish there. Um, obviously, they, they work, I've put them in before, but they, they just take a lot of fettling. in. Um, so we'll see how we get on, but I think, I think we'll um, start chopping away and uh, yeah, start getting it in place. So obviously where I want to cut, I'm going to mark from the inside, just with a Sharpie pen. It's going to go down the inside of the panel um, where I want it to, to end and to cut out. So we'll probably end up with a shape like that with this piece missing uh, and then go from there. So, all right, let's get this panel prepped up. Back with you in a bit. Right, so everything I've just said, Forget it. We've just made a discovery. <laughs> First panel in this car and it's gonna fight me, isn't it? Check this out, guys. How well this was covered up with under seal. So, torch. There's been a previous repair. Um, Trying to set you up the best I can. A previous repair. So you can see where I've left this. This is the new panel. That's our door post, all lovely and solid. There's a tab for the top of the dash rail where we're gonna go weld all that in it's gonna look lovely it's gonna fit really nice and i'm just looking underneath going oh i wonder what that is that was absolutely levered in under sill there's been a plate welded in here that's been half assed tacked to that um and to cut a short long story short i've just put my hand into the tow board you can see all the rust falling out so I think we're going to end up using all of this panel after everything I said. Um, like I said, I've done it before, but I was kind of hoping not to with this car. So we're going to use all of that because it cuts out this, which allows me to get in and repair that. We're going to have to make a tow board section up. <sighs> out comes the cutter again. <sighs> First. <laughs> what a weird place to rot right there. But I think that's on set from the fact that 
uh, the dash rail has been leaking so much, it just dropped on the floor and it's ruined the corner of that floor. So, I get to make some things. <laughs> it swings around about this, right? Let's get the rest of this court, this uh, flitch panel cut out, and then we'll, we'll show you the shock tower because obviously we all want to see what's behind there. What I'd have left in there was that. That was absolutely covered in oversill and undersill or whatever you want. You still you can see some of it there, look. But it's just stuck to rust. Sorry that was too noisy on camera, guys. Just didn't expect that. So let's get you in closer. Let's get you off the tripod. So Yep, full flitch panels being used. That's no big deal, we've got the metal, but it is completely gone up there. So I've cut the worst of it out, um, but I'm gonna have to make this lip all back up. Um, obviously this floor section we're not bothered about, we're cutting all of that out. It's gonna get like um, the end machine floors and stuff. I'm not bothered by any of that whatsoever, because um, we get all this new section in with the floor. And obviously the inner seal and the seal and all that sort of stuff comes with it but we need to make this back up. So it's just full of undersill, absolutely full of it. So you can see how far up. So there's the accelerator pedal, and it's come all the way up to there. So, and I'm just peeling undersill and paint off it. You know, it's where, where do you stop? So, right, I'm gonna have to fabricate something up for that. So I don't like the look of that at all. So that needs to be sorted. But let's get onto this. Oh, we're in the video there. Right, so as mentioned, let's end the video here. There's always some horrors under here. So while we've revealed all that down there, let's see what else is to reveal on here. So I've used this ever since the car's been in here, plus gas, um, you're soaking, soaking the bolts. So let's have a look. Oh, it's tight. Oh, it's going. Oh, it doesn't feel too shabby. That's surely not coming out. <gasps> it is. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting that. Well, this is one of one of four guys. So let's just see what the rest do. Hmm. Good old plus gas, right? We're uh, get the rest out, shall we? Don't look good. There we go. There we go. That's what we knew was there. Ah. <laughs> Right, so, yeah, I don't want to use the Top Gear slogan, but yeah, it's, uh, there's a bombshell there, isn't there? <laughs> Let's um, end that video right there. Flitch panel chopped, first panel out of the car. First surprise revealed, second prize revealed. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a fun project this, isn't it? So, it's all saveable, it's all good, it's all good. You got, we've got the repair panels, I like this sort of thing, so. Yeah, let's um, let's get some pictures for James. <laughs>
And uh, sorry, pal. Right. Next episode, guys, we will start getting the flitch panel welded in. Um, off camera, I'll probably make this little piece up, but I'll probably time lapse it or something like that, just so you can guys see it, or at least send some photo, do some photos and stuff like that. And uh, we're obviously have to repair this inner wing and stuff like that because she ain't well. So uh, not a lot of people know there's actually two skins there, so we'll chop the whole thing out, make the two skins up, weld it all back up again. Loads of cavity paint, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right, remember to subscribe, guys. <laughs> We're uh, in it for the long haul now, aren't we? So remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment away. Um, do you like rust? Do you like rust as much as I do? And um, obviously that's a very common area. Loads of people are saying, come on, I want to see what's behind the shock towers. The 89 was exactly the same both sides. The sidewalk was the same both sides. Um, but how mad is that? You never know that's there. When you're driving along, your suspension's articulating. Look at it. Right. We'll get it welded up. It's not a problem. So remember to drop in the description below. Both our sponsors are in there. Both have got discount codes. Link to Frost discount code is down there. And the link to Minimind's eBay shop with the discount code along the bottom of the screen now and in the bottom. So please use that. And uh, let's get welding, guys.